Hello, hello, I'm using music watchers, viewers, viewers. Guys, my English became so bad, <laughs> that's insane. Because <laughs> now I'm not even speaking Hebrew, I'm speaking German. Oh my God. Anyway, hello guys from Germany. I'm in Germany right now and I want to talk about something really, really important. It's going to be really, really short because it's going to be really, really dark soon. So let's start. I learned an important and very important lesson a few weeks ago when I got here. No, I actually learned this lesson a few days ago, but I got here two weeks ago. And what is that lesson? Oh, I'm not going to tell you right away because then you're just going to go out, right? Of the video. So no, but I'm just going to, I'm going to tell you shortly what's going on with me and why the hell am I in Germany? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, um, as you know, um, my uh, life in Hollywood kind of um, stopped when, uh, I don't think you can say that. Anyway, I needed to leave Hollywood because of Corona. So I left back to Israel and I said it's going to be for a few months and then I'm going to find a solution, me and Pedro together, my boyfriend. I didn't see him for six months already, but that's life. Anyway, we needed both of us to leave LA and we needed to find a new place because I didn't want to be a musician in Israel and he didn't want to stay in Brazil. So we started, to look in, uh, we started looking for uh, stuff to do and we realized that we wanted to go to Canada. So Canada was too kind of too problematic. So we decided to go with Germany and that's why I'm in Germany, waiting for Pedro to come here. Exactly. But to go in Germany, I needed to find a way how can I come here because I found a great music school when I wanted to do my bachelor, but I need to know German for that. So I started to learn German a few months ago and yes, I can speak German now, but <laughs> Uh, before that, uh, I realized that until I can speak German for university, I need, to, I want to be in Germany. I want to know the culture. I want to know the language, you know, I want to learn it from Germany, not from Israel. So I decided it's going to be a good idea to go to Germany, right? And what's better than actually working in Germany? Anyway, from here to there, I got an opportunity, um, a work opportunity in Germany, something that is not related to music. But it was my ticket to Germany. It was my, uh, my soft landing to Germany. And uh, I decided to take it. And I know it's not connected to music. And I know that I didn't have time to actually do music all these uh, two weeks. And I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to have time to do mu much music because of work and because I have so much to do besides that. So it's been kind of rough, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about something that I learned from uh, from my work, off my work. Uh, so I, um, I work in sales now. I'm a salesperson, and I'm not very good at sales, guys. I'm not the best salesperson because I feel uncomfortable to sell to people, and I feel uncomfortable to convince people. Uh, and that's that's part of the reasons why I decided to do this job because I was like, yeah, I need to learn. Like I need to. It's very important for me and for my career because I want people to listen to me and to my music and to people to listen to you. It's not an easy task. You know, you can't just like come to a person and tell him I know better than you. Listen to me. <laughs> That's really, you can't do that because he won't listen. To, they won't listen to you. So I realized that I want to do some sales and to understand how all of that actually works which is very interesting because I was terrified to my core and I still am. But the lesson that I learned that I want to share with you, I don't want to make it a long video. So the lesson that I learned is my job is to sell cosmetics and I need to basically convince people to buy something they didn't need because they're not going inside the store and uh, telling me, eh, can you help me? I'm looking for a face cream and I'm like, oh yeah, of course, uh, buy this. No, I need to tell them that they need a face cream and I need to convince them that they're going to buy it for a really, really big amount of money, which is not easy, guys. It's really not easy, especially when there's Corona. But people do that and people succeed doing that. And I, I'm not a fan of this job, 
but I realized it's something that is good for me to learn how to communicate with people better, how to read people, how to understand people better, and how to make a person buy something he doesn't need, and how to connect it to my work as a musician. And, and then I realized a really, really fun fact. People only care about themselves. Ah, crazy, right? People do not give a fuck about other people. They care about themselves, first of all. I mean, of course, people care about other people. They care about like being nice to other people, helping other people. That's all true. But the first people, they, the first person they care about, it's them. It's it's logic and yet shocking. <laughs> but when I started to work in sales, I realized that for me to make a person turn around, oh, I have a song about that. I'm gonna release it soon. Turn But to make a person to turn around, you need to make him think that you're gonna help him. You gonna, you need to use a way for a person to, to think, oh, I need to turn around because I want to turn around because that's gonna help me and not this girl that's yelling at me right now, right? And I was thinking, and I was taking it back to music because let me, take, let me give you an example that many musicians do, me including sometimes, which really annoys me because I know that's not working, but I'm doing it anyway. What am I doing? I'm posting something on Facebook and Instagram and basically writing, go listen to my new single. I have a new single out. And then I'm sitting and I'm like, why is nobody listening to my single? Like, why is nobody watching my music video? Like, I worked so hard, it's so good, it's such a good song. And nobody gives a fuck shocking right because we write the best songs in the world we are the best artists in the world and we want that people will appreciate what we do right well they don't know that right like they don't care it's like a completely random person comes to you in the street and tells you my music is the best thing in the world you need to listen to it would you probably not you don't care is it helping you somehow no is it something you need in your life Probably not. <laughs> so you're not gonna listen to it. Uh, and that's what I realized in sales because when I'm just yelling to a person, uh, excuse me, excuse me, uh, I wanna give you something, I wanna give you something. They're like, whatever, just shut up and just like keep walking, you know? But when I come to a person and I'm like, excuse me one minute, I saw, I think, I saw that your nail is broken and I have a way to fix your nail. And then <laughs> they actually go inside the store because I can help them because they care about themselves, not about me. I can't come to a customer and tell him, I need your money. He won't buy, right? And it's, it's guys, it's, it's so mean. I, I hate saying that, but it's true. Like people care about themselves. So if I'm telling to a person, my song is the best in the world, you're going to listen to it. You need to listen to it. He would be like, what do you want from me? No, I don't need to listen to it. I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine. But if you find a way, instead of writing, listen to my new single, find a way to create an emotion in a person's life. Find a way to... The millions like you and it's too much to count to find a way to call my name to make me turn around. Create an interest that's gonna make a person think that, you, that he needs to listen to your song because that's gonna help him somehow because he wants to listen to your song and not because you're asking him. That's how you catch a listener. That's how you actually make a change. Instead of writing, I have a new single out, please go listen to it. Try to, try to think, why would people listen to my music? What am I talking about? I'm talking about, okay, let's take the easiest topic. I'm, take, I'm talking about broken heart. I'm talking about a breakup. So who am I speaking to? Happy couples? No. I'm speaking to a person who need this song right now. People who broke up lately and they're really, really sad. So how do I come to these people and telling them that they actually need to listen to my song? I'm talking to their emotions. I'm not coming to a person with a broken heart and telling him, my single is going to help you. Go listen to my single. He wouldn't. Never. That will never happen. Find a way. How do you get this person's attention? 
Well, you write him a question about, did your heart got broken too? Fuck, mine too. I wrote a song about it. I was feeling like shit. Do you feel like shit? I was feeling like shit. And then the person would be like, I am feeling like shit. I actually feel like shit. Is the song gonna help me? Okay, well, okay, I'm, listen I'm gonna listen to it. And you create a connection, you create something between you guys and not just an empty message of like, check this out, like my song. Nobody cares. <laughs> And that's the lesson I learned, guys. And that's what I'm learning. And that's why I'm doing sales. And that's why it's so important to me to 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 succeed in these sales because that's gonna help me to understand people better. That's gonna help me to understand how the human mind works and what makes a person decide to go into the store, to go into my YouTube channel, to buy my product, to order, to pre-order my song on Spotify. It's pretty much the same because in every aspect in life. Our brain is basically working the same and for each one of us we're human beings we're practically thinking the same and if you gotta find a way to understand how the human mind works and find a way how to connect it to your music and how to find a way to make a person that just sees your ad on Instagram to a truly a truly a true fan of yours because you find the way to you found a way to connect to him you find a way to make him feel something or to laugh or to cry and that's that's the way to have a true fan that's how you earn them not just by telling them oh go listen to my music it's the best in the world i'm the best artist i'm gonna save the world we can think that but that's not a way to get a fan so think about that and if you never worked at sales try it's interesting it's challenging, it's scary, it's terrifying, it's different. But it opens your mind to understand how you turn a person on the street into a client. What do you say? What do you do? How do you read this person? How do you connect to him? A point to think about.